If you've ever been on a weight loss journey, I'm sure you can relate to this diagram of my history of yo-yo dieting. Decades ago, before I went back to school to study nutrition, this is what it was like. My weight would go up, I'd think, I'm unhappy, so if I lose weight, I'm gonna be happier. So I'd embark on some kind of a weight loss program and <clears throat> lose some weight or maybe not. And then I would get frustrated or get bored or you know just wanna eat other food and I'd lose my interest and go off the diet, the weight would come back and the cycle would repeat itself over and over and over again. I don't know how many times I joined Weight Watchers. <laughs> Too many to count. I'm Neely with Neely on Nutrition and I wanna to talk to you about not exactly like what I eat every day, but I wanna talk about my habits in particular. I was doing some journaling and recently and <clears throat> thinking about what are the habits that I have that I put into place that have helped me maintain a healthy weight. Now mind you, these are habits that I've acquired over many, many years of just trying different things and um, being successful and then figuring out what works and what doesn't. My journey may be very different from yours, but in the women that I coach, a lot of these things um, they've applied to their own lives. So number one, I am a flexitarian. As I talked about in a recent video of mine, a flexitarian takes um, a flexible diet, combining it with vegetarian, and you've got a flexitarian. So I eat mostly a plant-based diet, lots of fruits and veggies, but I also don't deny myself things that I'm in the mood for, such as you know a juicy burger or a steak or a piece of salmon. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so it's I think it's probably one of the best ways to eat because you don't have restriction and. Um, yeah, that's what I do. Lots of fruits and veggies. I eat three meals a day, typically breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But my breakfast, I actually don't eat until I'm up for hours. Now, I'm going to talk about my sleep and rest and exercise and my morning routine in another video. But um, to let you know, I get up in the morning, I get up pretty early, and it might be hours before I have my first meal, my breakfast. And the reason I do that is for, first of all, I'm not so hungry first thing in the morning, um, but I do get something in. I get, um, I drink a pot of coffee every day, and but it's very weak coffee. I don't like really strong coffee, but I put milk in, in all the coffee that I drink. So I get, I'm getting some protein and um, some carbs in there. I make sure that I always get at least 20 grams of protein with all my meals, especially that first meal of the day. Um, the protein that I get is usually a cottage cheese or Greek yogurt and um, or eggs. I had eggs this morning. So it varies, but usually it's, um, it's dairy or eggs. And um, what I have found is that when I wasn't getting protein in my morning meal, that's when I would find myself being really hungry like later on in the day. So I think having that protein and a little bit of good healthy fat also just kind of puts that um, those cravings um, at bay. Usually don't eat breakfast till about 9, 9.30 in the morning. And then I have lunch when I get hungry. And that's the beauty of following a, um, you can call it intuitive eating, but it's just really monitoring and paying attention to um, hunger and satiety and being mindful. So I, I eat when I'm hungry, stop when I've had enough. I have a hunger fullness scale, and I say hunger fullness, it's really more like hunger and satiety. And I like to eat at about a three, where I've got some physical signs of you know, hunger, and then stopping at about a seven, which you feel good. Now, an eight is feeling full. And sometimes, since I was just talking to a client, she was at a seven on the scale, and it was just a couple of other, a couple, like one or two bites more can put you at an eight, which is full and almost uncomfortable. So eating in this window has really helped me um, with my next habit, which is not depri depriving myself. Back in my dieting days, I restricted, I'd follow a certain diet, and I would take all these foods out of my diet, and then I would end up craving them. And because I was depriving myself, I would end up binging on them. So I don't restrict anymore, and it's just what works. And I think it's probably the best thing because no foods are off limits. The foods I do eat, though, are more wholesome foods, very minimally processed. I don't eat um, many ultra-processed foods. I just don't buy them and keep them in my house, so they're just not around. Um, but I don't deny myself if I'm in the mood for them. And then I also, though, and this is probably going to surprise you, but I don't eat quietly at a table doing nothing else. I don't, no. So 
my breakfast and lunch, I typically eat at my desk, where I am right now. And dinner, I am often in front of the TV eating dinner. But here's the thing. Even though I've told people many times over the years, don't eat in front of the TV, it's not like I am mindlessly bringing a bag of chips into the living room and sitting there and mindlessly eating them. I am very mindful of what I'm doing and very conscious of what I'm doing. If I were to just sit at a table, um, I, what I think I would, would happen, I would probably end up eating too fast because I wanna get on with what I need to do. So um, now, this is, again, this is what works for me. It's not a practice that I recommend for everybody, but I'm talking about my habits with you. I also might eat right before I go to bed. I'm not eating a full meal though, okay? So um, there's, you know, there's some ideas that you shouldn't eat after a certain period, um, but if I'm hungry, I can't sleep. So I might have a piece of fruit, or my favorite snack actually um, are frozen grapes. I always have um, frozen grapes right in my, uh, in my in my freezer drawer, and I can just grab a couple of them and then suck on them. It's like you know sucking on candy. I love that um, natural sweetness of fruit. Although I usually don't snack very often through um, during the day, except again I might just you know grab um, a couple of uh, of grapes or three or four <laughs> or five one at a time though because they melt pretty quickly. When it comes to fluids, my fluid intake um, I'm getting more than enough, but my fluid intake is coming from my coffee. And water. Now, coffee, I know people think that it's, that it's um, dehydrating. It's actually not. It's actually fluid for the body. So I'm getting that as a fluid. I'm also eating lots of fruits and veggies, which have so much water themselves. So I'm getting a lot of water from the foods that I eat. Um, I drink water with every meal. And I also drink one other thing. I love a Diet Coke. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, dietitian, nutritionist drinking Diet Coke, artificial sweeteners. On occasion, I've thought, oh, maybe I should do without the artificial sweeteners. Because I do use artificial sweeteners for my coffee. And then I thought, why? Diet Coke makes me happy. I like a Diet Coke. Plus, my overall, my diet is very wholesome, very nutrient rich, and this is probably one of the only highly processed foods that I eat. So I do me. You do you. I do me. So yes, I drink Diet Coke. I love it. Is Diet Coke or is our artificial sweeteners right for everybody? No, maybe not. But for me, it's what's wor it, it, what it is what works in my overall eating pattern. So there you have it. That's how I eat over the course of a day. I have some other habits too, which I'll talk about in um, other videos. But uh, But yeah, that's what I do. And here's the thing, you've got to figure out what works for you. I figure out what works for me. It took many years to come to this place. Some things happen quicker than others, but uh, there is no one perfect way. We have to define and find out what works for us. Make sure you watch these videos over here where I go into more detail about some things. And yeah, thanks for watching, Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.